Hi everybody and welcome to the day four of the headless guitar build. Today we are going to route the pickup cavities and maybe do some other fun stuff. Let's get to it. Over the past few days I was playing around with this pickup template and I made sure that this MG81 fits in there. It was a lot of trial and error but finally I got it to the size and to the shape which I'm satisfied with doesn't look too shabby so now it's pretty much the point of no return I'm going to take this template and route it in the guitar body I determined the locations of the two pickup cavities and now to make it a bit easier for the router I'm going to go in with a tungsten drill bit and remove as much of material as I can and you know just to start things off and then we'll get to the router. Uh, I don't really want to go super deep because I want the bottom of the cavity to be really nice and that's usually done with the router. But that's just to start things off. And the roasted maple smells really, really good. Okay, it's time to use the masking tape super glue trick to get the template in place. All right, now that the template is in place, it's time for Mr. Intimidating Mr. Router to do the job. Oh yeah. Let's do it. It's just the start, but it's looking good so far. Oh. Yeah, love that. This time I will go just a smudge deeper, but actually the goal is that uh, after I go, you know, this deep, I can actually remove the template and the guitar body itself will be a template, which is pretty cool. Let's do it. Okay, now that the cavity itself is deep enough to serve as a guide for the router, we can move to the next one and do exactly the same thing. It's been some time and I routed all the way the template allowed me so now I can use the guitar itself and the line of the pickup cavity itself is a template so that's what I'm going to do right now The pickup cavities are done! Before we wrap things up, I wanted to share some little kind of tip or tutorial with you. A little glue. Soon we will be gluing in the fretboard. Now, if you are gluing the fretboard, you definitely want it to be in the right position. And to make sure that this is in the right position, measure, measure, cut. The center line is queen and you need to know exactly 
where the fretboard needs to be located on this part and on this end as well. Now in my case I have the kind of head part of the headless bridge and the nut here. So I marked all of this and I clamped the fretboard in place. You didn't see me do it, I spent like 10 minutes, you know, double checking that everything is alright. Now to the actual tutorial, to make sure that the fretboard is in the right position, you will need a stick, any sort of stick, you know, you want it to be 2 millimeters or small, definitely this one is 2 millimeters for me, and the drill of the same size. Now to make sure the fretboard will be in the right position after you take the clamps off, we are going to drill two holes. Let me just remove this part. One hole here and one more hole here. So it can be two positions on the fretboard on the diagonal part. You know, one on the lower part, one on the high part. Now if I drill the hole, I can put this stick in and after I take the fretboard off, I can easily find out the location where it should be. Now you might be worried, like, why? Why do you make a hole? Because people are going to see it. And no, actually, after I put it in, the threads, the metal parts, will be here and they will cover all the mess. Now let's drill some holes. Hole number one. I noticed that I marked the kind of the death stop on my drill bit, uh, not to make sure they don't go too deep. Now hole number one. I will try to be really gentle here. Check it as I go. Yeah, this looks good. I'll try to be straight as humanly possible. Okay. Okay, so that's hole number one. Hole number two, exactly the same story. Now, let the magic happen. Okay, we got two holes, and we got two sticks. Now, put it in place. One. And... Two. Now I can safely take off the clamps. One clamp. And one more. Let's go to the side. And we got a fretboard that's not going anywhere. And it's ready to be glued in place. When when it's time to glue it in, of course. Which is not now. But that's, that's it for this nice little trick, hope you liked it. Okay, I did need to take a little break in between these sessions, but I think we'll call it a day for day four. We've got the pickup cavity sorted out and the guitar is starting to look like guitar more and more. So I'll be back tomorrow, which is Sunday, with some more things. I might play around with things, you know, here and there off camera, but uh, if something cool comes up, I will definitely let you know. So, thank you for being with me today, and I'm happy to have you with me on this amazing headless journey. See you next time.